Elliot Friedman, Hockey Night in Canada on the line. Fridge, I'm assuming you got maybe some reaction from players today on that. I'm assuming there were some texts. What yeah, was there? Yeah, there were. I mean, like, like Sid, I, I think we're going to play. I, I have not changed my opinion on that. I, I, I think we're going to play. Yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of eye rolling. You know, the, the fact is, like, maybe I'm just getting old. Um, or I've been doing this too long. Getting? I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I don't getting get Friedman? riled up. Come on. I, I don't get riled up about labor rhetoric anymore. I'm like, just, you know, come on, bring me to the end. When's the deadline? Okay. And that's kind of the way I think. And I, and you know what, to be honest, like people don't want to hear this right now. We've got enough going on. Like the less this stuff is out and, and to be, and you know, the league had been pretty quiet. Batman hasn't talked a lot. And I think that's one of the reasons is that he knows that this stuff just comes across sounding terribly uh, right now. So my reaction to stuff like this is it's immaterial. It's rhetoric. I don't really care about it one way or the other. The, the thing he does do in that clip, which is important for everyone to understand, is that to the league, that is the issue. Um, this year, it's supposed to be, well, it's supposed to be, it's a 50-50 deal. And this year, because there's going to be no fans when we start this, the pendulum is going to swing way over to the players. And the players are going to owe the league money. And, you know, but this group of players has decided they've lost enough for escrow over the years. They've had it. They've just said, you know what? You signed a deal with us. The caps escrow at a certain amount for the next six years. We're not changing that. And the league's argument is, hold on a second, it's 50-50, uh, you've got to pay it back. And we don't want to wait six years into the future to see how this is going to get, you know, we don't want it trickling in over six years. We want it faster than that. And they also don't want a situation where there could be money owed going into the next CBA. And I, and I do think that's one of the biggest challenges the Players Association is going to have here is that there might be the young guys in the league uh, who would look at it and say, wait a second, if we don't have this now, what's this going to mean to our salaries in the future? And and I could see that being a bit of a wedge issue they've got to deal with, but that is the issue. The league says, we want this money paid back faster, and the current group of players say, nope, we made a deal. You have to live by how much money comes back at each point during the deal. Now, some owners... Told, said to me at the time that there was going to there was going to be a problem because this deal wasn't going to address it enough. But they voted to accept it because they accept the commissioner's recommendations. And now I think some of those owners are saying, "Wait a second, I don't like what this means." And you know, for example, you know, people think that people want to play less that the NHL wants to play fewer games. I don't I don't think the owners like that at all. I. I like if, if there's no proration, so you're going to be paying them based on 82 games. Why would you want to play just 48? Like I, I think that's all part of this this little mess here. Elliot Freeman on Tim and Sid, based on your sources, yeah. How how many owners do you think are okay with playing zero games, and do you think that number could grow? Um, I I'll tell you this. Like I've asked that. I've asked. I've, I've tried to ask the people I know who would know best how many I've had some estimates of 10 to 12. Oof. I've had some estimates of less than that. Like 12 is the highest number I get. Still and high. most, wow. most I usually get Sid is between five and 10. And like, it's not like people just tell me, it's not just like everybody always blames like the, the Southern state guys or the Bible belt guys. They say it's not just them. Um, you know, I think the other thing that happened here is, and I, I think we, I talked about it on the show, like I've had some of the owners were really angry about some of the things that were said in the when the when the league brought up their two proposals. Like in, in one of my blogs about it, I, I had a line from the, a couple of players that said to me, well, you know, it's never been cheaper to borrow money. And they were really pissed off at that line. So I think like, the emotions are really raw right now. And you guys know what's the thing that always leads to the biggest fights money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like that's why I don't go that. No money is always bigger. 
Like yeah. that's oh, bigger, why sure, I don't have rash any money because I know he'll never pay me back. Right. It's like it's because of his uh, ego. It just it's it's one of the one of the same. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, one of the same. So like money is always the biggest fight. So everybody is they're they're really raw right now. Like I said, I still think we're gonna play, but you know, I mean, I, it's a challenge. There's no question about it. There's because the players are mad and. The owners are are getting a lot of them are getting hammered in the pocketbook, so it's a it's a bad combination. So yeah. what now? When are they going to play? If you if you're confident that this is going to go, yeah, is it training camps first week of January? Well, play in play in early February. What's what's the story? You can't here? have camps now in San Jose. You can't have camps now in Quebec. You can't have camps now in Winnipeg. You can't uh, really. Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's just let's look at this. Okay. Um. Number one, Batman continues to say January 1st, and I think he still continues to tell the players January 1st. That's what I hear. Um, I, I don't know that I believe it. I think if there was, I think if he really want now, the one thing is, I think there's no way we're getting 30 day training camps here, right? No chance. Like they're going to, they're going to crush these training camps. It's going to be maybe two exhibition games. Um, like, I don't know if these teams are going to get the team, the teams, the seven teams that missed the playoffs were supposed to get extra time. Okay. I, I don't know if that's going to be happening anymore. So if like, I, I think that it's more likely we go into the middle of January, maybe at the latest be, uh, beginning of February. But, you know, like I'm looking at this right now, like you saw the tweet today, um, you know, 48 of what, 550 NBA tests were positive. That's a positivity rate of what almost ten percent. That's really high. You know, the Warriors yesterday had to put their on court workouts back as two players came but in. That's standard for the U.S. Test. right now. That's standard for the U.S. It, it's like, high. It's it, high compared it, to the baseball it, testing earlier this year. I'm I'm with you, Fridge. It's it, higher it, than that. Like, yeah, it's like, way higher. Like I gotta tell you, like I, I like, do they really want to try now? Like I think it's almost smarter to wait. To wait to, to see when, how the though. NBA plays it. Is that what you're kind of no, suggesting? No, I, I think to maybe wait the next couple of weeks and see where we get through. Like the post American Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is yeah. going yeah. to be a disaster. No, but, no, the, like, but the issue, no, but guys, the issue is it's got to be over by what? July 19th, give or take? July 15th. Is the July 15th. So you know when the end date has to be. Yeah. So when you go backwards, I mean, how compressed and et cetera is this going to be? I think it's going to be really compressed. I think it, I think you're going to see teams playing. It, I, Rash, I think it's going to be the baseball schedule. You're only going to play in your division. Um, you know, Toronto will go into Ottawa. They'll play back to back. They'll go to Montreal. They'll play back to back. They'll go everywhere. They'll play back to back. And the teams that come here will play back to back. That's the well, way it's going to work. Well, if you're the Habs with Jake Allen, you're in a good spot. If that's the case, <laughs> you, gotta, you need, you need to, seriously, you need that backup goalie because this is going to be wild. This is going to be the Wild West. You're right. Um, and for the record, I'm with like Freaks. Like, we're like, going to play. I think we're going to play. Just I just I get yeah. freaked out easy. I get freaked out easy. I, I, I've heard. I, I've heard that. Like, the thing is, like, like the thing is, like, I, I know people are annoyed at Batman today, and I, I don't pay any attention to the rhetoric. Um, uh, like, you know, like, that's why he's paid the big bucks is to go out there and take those bullets, right? Um, but I, but I do think the thing he said in that clip is the crux of the issue is that the players say, Hey, we signed a deal with these escrow caps. If that means you don't get all your money back until later, that's your problem. And the league is like, no. And the owners are like, no, it's not going to work like that for us. And I don't know if anybody has any legal recourse here that we're arguing about that now too. But that is the crux of the argument is how quickly, because if it's going to, it's going to tilt towards the players this year. How quickly does that money get repaid? So for age, finally, because force majeure is a term that people have heard thrown around in both the NBA and major league baseball and the NHL for insurance on a canceled season, natural disaster yeah. or a pandemic. Should I never use that term again in this story? In your opinion, I've heard others throw it around. Should I ignore force majeure? No, you shouldn't, because it's an ultimate worst case scenario, and it's it's part of the equation. But I don't believe it's what the NHL wants to do. Okay. Like I, I don't believe that. I, I I believe Batman wants to play. I believe a good chunk of his owners want to play. I think they're they're a little raw right now, but I think at the end of the day they want to play. Um, 
you know, um, you know, the other, you know, and I think the players want to play. I think, I think people want to play. I just, I, I just believe that's an absolute worst case scenario. And, um, the other thing too, guys is like, you know, every other league is going, are you going to be like, even college football gets 20 games canceled a week or rash. You love college football as much as anyone I know, but yeah. they're still going. Yeah. Like you're not barely, even going to barely they're going, but yeah, barely you're not even going to try it. It looked terrible. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Couldn't agree with you more. Uh, Elliot, I can't wait to see you in studio again, surrounded by people. Like that's what this, that's, that's what hit me in the middle of this conversation. Like we've been doing no, this a while. Like workers think that. Too. Oh, I know. I, I, no, they email me. I know what they think of you. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> um, have a good day, brother. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Take care. 